The story is to live in Grand Canyon University. Um, I have a couple questions to ask you, sir. Um, thank you for coming by to introduce yourself. Um, so this is a former student of Grand Canyon University. Um, welcome everybody who is here. Um, so I graduated from Wabawa High School back in 2016. And after that, I went to a local college in Hawaii called Lira Community College. After two years, I further my education for a bachelor's degree at Grand Canyon University. Grand Canyon University is a private Christian affordable university in the heart of Phoenix. Um, it's a for-profit university these past 10 years, which is really interesting to me. Um, GCU is known for nursing and business, but I went to that school for STEM. I really wanted to go to GCU just because of how new they were to STEM and I wanted to be part of that program to, you know, put about it out. Um, GCU is known for their dorms, which is one of the main reasons why I went there. There are super nice and super comfortable. It's really a home away from home. Um, I really like the atmosphere there. They're really nice and friendly, and there's a lot of activities you can do on property and out of property. There's things you can travel to see, like Grand Canyon, Sedona, things like that, which is pretty cool. <laughs> It's kind of funny, we always get that question. Um, but no, the Grand Canyon University is not near the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon University is located in Phoenix, Arizona, which is one of the, is like the eighth largest city in the US. The Grand Canyon is actually like four hours away or so. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty far. I actually have a cool story of me and some my roommates going to the Grand Canyon. We left like two o'clock in the morning just to see sunrise. It was quite an adventure. Um. So at GCU, I think our living situation is pretty interesting. Um. So you can live in dorms or you can live in apartments. I feel like apartments are so much better and it's the popular choice at GCU just because you can have your own private room and you also get a living room and a kitchen which is kind of cool. Um, these are nice places to have guests or friends over you know when you're not at classes or when you have downtime. We also have a bowling alley um, we have sand volleyball courts. We have just open fields just to play things like spike ball, volleyball, football, ultimate frisbee. We also have um, pool tables. I'm not sure if I said a bowling alley. Um, we also have at least five um, resort style pools. We have hot tubs. There's a lot of things we can do just on campus, which is why a lot of people just want to live there. One thing I like about GCU is how they handle their academics program. So no matter what um, course or courses you take, um, there are teachers that create the program and it's the same throughout the whole university. So each professor, they can teach the way they want to teach, but it's the same assignments, same program, and you know, within every so many years, they update it. But that's really nice, because if you need help, you can, also, you can always ask your classmates, or if you have friends in the same program, but with different class, different teacher, you can also ask them for help on, or their point of view on the assignment. GCU also makes it easy for each student to understand how each professor grades. It's based off of a 1,000 point system. Um, and 10% of that 
100 point system, 1000 point system is participation, which, you know, makes students want to be there and participate in class, which is really nice. As a STEM major, I was, in my early days, I was always, always studying for exams and tests, but, you know, I didn't have to worry because, you know, I had my dorms to study. There are always, we're always welcome to go to classrooms and just use the facility um, after hours. We can also go to libraries, um, GCBC, which is our coffee shop, things like that. It's a Christian university, but they don't require you to be Christian. You don't have to believe in God, but you know, it's still there in when everything we do. Um, you're not forced to go to church, nothing, but there's only one class you have to take, which is Christian worldview at this university. Um, so once a week, we have a thing called chapel, which is Mondays. We also have on Tuesday nights, something called the gathering, which is like a co-worship night. And then throughout the week, we have students going to local Christian um, outreach programs or church, which is pretty cool. Um, if you ask me, you would find someone who believes in God and if that's you, you can always connect with that person in a really special level, which is pretty cool. It was kind of stressful just, you know, for anyone just to move. But I think GCU helped a lot because they kind of taught us like what we needed and kind of explained like this is how your dorms or rooms will look like so you kind of have an idea of what you kind of need and what you didn't need. They also had like vendors that would help and suggest things that you should get and what you shouldn't get, which is really nice. Um, there are, there's also people you could talk to like, hey, what did you buy? What did you bring? Which is nice. Um, especially here in Hawaii, there are a ton of students going to GCU every year. So you might be one of those lucky people who would have a friend going there, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't really feel like you're leaving everyone behind as you can have that friend with you. Um, if you don't have any friends when you first move down, it's fine because GCU, the students, they're really nice and it's really easy to make a friend. You just gotta put yourself out there to start talking to someone and then, hey, you might become friends. That's why I met a lot of my friends. Um, if not, you can always be friends with roommates. Um, typically, like your roommates are always nice. I'm close friends with all my roommates. Um, the only thing I miss about Hawaii the most when I was there is the food. Yeah, from time to time, everyone will get homesick with messing their family, but I don't know. Food is something else. That was, that is something I missed a lot. Um, so, one cool thing is if you do miss your food, there's always people in Hawaii um, getting care packages, which is cool. So, yeah. GCU is part of the NCAA Division 1. Um, we joined this division a couple years ago, maybe about seven, eight years ago, with the help of Jericho Angelo. He motivated us to move from D2 to D1. Um, our school does not have a football team, but we have a pretty big um, basketball team. Um, our student section at GCU, we are nicknamed the Habits. So here's my jersey, the Habits. And we we are known as the um, the biggest party in basketball. 
I believe we got that nickname from the Lily Bill head coach when he played us one year. Um, but yeah, we also ha um, have other sports like sand volleyball, um, baseball, um, a ton of other sports besides football. Um, this year, we actually made it to March Madness, which is pretty big because this is our first time in school history. But yeah, we're, we're, our sports are getting known. Um, people are starting to notice GCU when we're talking about these big schools. So that's pretty cool for the NCAA and our school, I guess. I am not a student actually. I graduated from GCU last December. I got a bachelor's degree. So, well, due to the coronavirus, it's tough looking for jobs, but I'm just in the job search right now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, um, thank you for your time. That was actually great to understand more of the school. Um, GCU does sound like an amazing school. Very a lot of um, amazing people there. How friendly you were saying and the different academics that you can get from the school and how hype it is for like, even for a basketball team that is known. Um, but again, thank you for your time. Looks up.